Hello friends, today we are going to discuss part 2 of social engagement in children. If your child's social skills are limited, you must set goals before going to therapy. Is it to start a conversation, appropriate emotions, understanding social cues, greeting others, taking turns during social play? Every goal is important and today we are going to discuss how visual schedules and social stories can contribute to social skills therapy. Let us start with visual schedules and visual cue cards for children. If your child is playing alone at home, you might want to set a goal of expanding their play from solitary play to social play and you want to introduce an activity. First, come face to face with the child. Introduce the activity using visual cue cards like a visual sequence and introduce only one step at a time. Let the child complete it before moving on to the next step. In this way, the child does not feel burdened. The same can be applied to social settings. If you're taking the child out, use visual cue cards so that they can express if they are overwhelmed. So the cue cards could be about using music with headphones, a fidget toy, use of some source of light to calm them down so that they can self-regulate and do not feel overwhelmed. But you might have a problem that your child takes time or fixates on one activity or one form of activity. Why does that happen? Because they did not get a closure. In order to do that, again use a visual cue card to assemble the activity, put it away so that their mind accepts that this activity is over, the fixation goes away and you can move on to the next one. The next part is social stories. Very important. Each child has their own unique way of learning through social stories. For example, you want to improve your child's interaction with peers. So how to start? Step 1. Let us go to the park and observe other children play. Second step. If they are playing with the ball, let us take our own ball the next time. Thirdly, let us try to throw the ball in their direction to show that we are interested. Fourth, let's try to greet them. Fifth step. Let us try to play among ourselves just to understand the rules of ball play. And sixth, engagement with other kids. These social stories are crucial in the learning of social skills, but always look for these five signs whether your child is ready to socialize or not. First, interoception. What is that? Do you feel that your child is comfortable in the social setting or not? Second, look at their actions they will always indicate in some way their readiness by sensory cues maybe so these sensory cues could be sensory behaviors that they show in terms of excitement or having meltdowns that they just cannot bear the situation right now fourthly always give preference to your child's behaviors or needs more than your own goals if they're not ready for the day, they will show either verbally or through behaviors. And based on that, take the decision whether you want to return the next day or is it okay to stay for the day. And finally, are they accepting the person or the people and the environment or social setting they are in? These five signs will help you to avoid double empathy problem. What is that? They will accept our social norms if we respect their boundaries, readiness, and comfort level. If they have their own way of expressing emotions, let them do that. Don't hesitate to take your child to social situations and think about it. Is it better to force your child sustained eye contact, which makes them irritable, which makes them lose focus? Or is it better that they give momentary eye contact look away but are able to comply with the activities comply in the social settings or to your requests don't try to blend in your child as a normal child accept for who they are and let them be ready and find a way of communication if blending in is used too much it is called a masking effect it can lead to isolation a poor mental health 
poor self-confidence and a feeling of failure at all times. Don't take away their choices because social skills are meant to increase interaction and not to put uncomfortable rules for your child. Let me know if these techniques were helpful for you and this whole idea of social engagement and how to improve it in your child is beneficial for you. Please mention it in the comments below along with any queries or suggestions that you might have. Like the video, subscribe to the channel for more topics on autism awareness and child development. Ring the bell icon for notifications whenever my videos are out and we will meet again soon. Bye.